So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another Zigbee remote. So this time it's a 2U remote. It was only six pounds from AliExpress. So as you can see, I decided to buy a few of them in the hope that it's quite good. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so there's the remote. Uh, you can see it's got a holder, which is quite nice. And then it's got a tab here, which suggests that a battery is included, which is great. And then some instructions. So it takes a LR23A battery, 12 volts. Yeah, so as you can see here that it does already come with a battery. So first impressions are that it feels quite nice in the hand. It's quite small and agile. If you press the button, it's got a little blue light that shows up. I believe that each button on this actually has three different actions. So 12 in total, which is fantastic. So a single press, a double press and a long press. And now we've got to figure out how to pair it with Home Assistant. All right, so I've just taken a look at the manual and there's nothing about pairing in there. So we're going to have to guess instead. It's normally holding one of the buttons down. So I'll give that a go and see what happens. So as you can see here, the blue button's flashing now. So I had to hold the number one button down for about 10 seconds before it started flashing. So now it should be in pairing mode so we can hook it up to Home Assistant. So we're now in Home Assistant and the remote is still in pairing mode. So let's go to settings and then integrations. And then we're going to go to my Zigbee stick, which is the Sonoff Zigbee stick here. And then click here. And now what we can do is do add device. So let's see if it discovers the new remote. Ah, there we go, it's been found. So it's detected as TS0044. That was set up quite quickly, actually. So let's give it a name. Let's now go back to the devices. Here we go. So it's very strange that it shows four battery percentages here, but I saw that with another device as well. It's also interesting that it shows over 100% battery. How odd. Right, well, let's create an automation and then let's see if a button press works. There we go. So I've pressed the first button and it shows us triggered. Brilliant. Yeah, it works for the second button as well. Let's try a long press on one of the buttons. So we'll pick the third button and do a long press. So it looks like you have to hold it for a very long time for a long press, which is a bit irritating. And finally, let's do a double press. Yeah, pretty responsive. Great. So I linked it up to Home Assistant, there were no issues there, and I created a couple of automations and it seems really responsive. I don't have any complaints at all so far, and for six pounds you really can't complain. I've got a few places in the house where I want to use these, so I'm going to use them for a few months and see how well the battery does. Hey, it's Mark from the future here, and I've had it installed for a couple of months now, and it's been working great. So I've got the old button here, which still works. You can see it turns the lamp on here. But also if I press this, it turns it off equally as quickly. And it's been great. I've also got one on the other side of the bed that you can't see as well. But this is my one here and I've got it for four different functions. If you're enjoying using cheap Zigbee devices as much as I am, then please comment down below because I'd be interested to hear how you use all these devices yourself. And I plan on doing more videos just like this. So please stay tuned and consider subscribing and liking the video. So thanks, until next time.